All right, so we're on the beautiful St. Croix River here with Steve DeMars. He's got some kind of uh, double hook system here he's been experimenting with, having really good success. Ooh, he's going to show us how to do it here. Pretty bullhead. So I see you got some beads and a spinner on there. That's yep. how you tie them up? That tie them up that way, supposedly that makes it illegal because now it's a lure, so you can use more than one hook. One of the concerns is, now what I do is, I try to get the hook going parallel with the body. Supposedly the flathead, when he takes this, he takes it head first. So I go through like that, under him, and then come back through. So that's the first hook. And you can see how he's sitting on the body, and the hook is facing forward, so when he comes through and takes that bait, he's gonna encounter that hook. And then what I do is I take the second hook, the stinger hook, and I run that down here towards the tail. And then I try to go through, not real deep, because I want that hook to be able to come loose fairly easily. You know, the circle hooks, they got that little twist in the top. So that's the, that's the rig right there. Sitting with the big hook, and then this little, this is a 5 aught Gamagatsu octopus circle, 8 aught in the front and a 5 aught in the back. And then if you watch how this sits in the water, you can see him how it's sitting. And there he is, he's swimming just like that. Now those are circle hooks, Steve. When that flat takes that, you just basically what I do start is, reeling? Just like I'm holding it right now, I take it out of the holder and I point it at the fish. And as my line comes tight, I'll engage the reel. The, the reel will be un, unengaged and the clicker's going. I point it at him. I engage the reel, I reel, I turn off that, and I reel it up till it's tight, and as soon as it's tight, I just start, start reeling. Nothing and, to uh, it, huh? That's all it takes. And it, it seems like those hooks come right out, and about, I'd say, 75% of the time, I'm getting both hooks buried in that fish. So I'm having really good luck with, the, with it. Nice. Now, when you get in timber, you get hooked up twice as bad, too, which is... Uh, something to consider but well we'll see if we can see, put those to good use tonight hook. so the first hook hooked him right in the corner of the mouth so first flat of the night you can see that circle hook is right in the corner ouch got that two hook system that works pretty good you got that run and grabbed it up and started yeah. cranking at 2214 that's a nice looking fish, but he's short and fat. <laughs> Isn't he short and fat? <laughs> Let's see what we got. Chunky guy. 23. 23.